With Alabama's legislative session about two weeks away, one lawmaker is trying to strike a compromise with some cities over eliminating their occupational taxes. Yeah, Amanda, but as WDHN State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple reports, mayors are not willing to budge. Five of the six cities in Alabama with the highest occupational taxes are in Etowah County. City leaders there say they will fight against any proposal to eliminate that tax. He wants to compromise. You know, there's no compromising on our tax structure. Gadsden Mayor Craig Ford says the 2% tax brings in $15 million of their $75 million budget. Without it, there would be serious cuts. We would have to cut almost 35 policemen out of 90 policemen. We'd have to shut down half of our fire stations. Atala Mayor Larry Means agrees with Ford. He says the five mayors in Etowah County are on the same page. I've never seen the mayors in this county be so united on, on an issue. Means says his city would lose about 14% of its revenue and with that, essential services. And, and we don't want to do that, especially emergency services, police, fire. Senator Andrew Jones first proposed phasing out the tax statewide by 0.1% every year. He says he's willing to compromise and might propose a 1% cap on that tax instead of a total elimination. Jones says this is a regressive tax on having a job. A sad day when you have a group of mayors on one hand that are so out of touch with their public. He plans to file a bill at the start of the session and thinks there will be support, at least in the legislature. That means you know me having to stand uh, with my citizens and uh, these, these five mayors being out on a limb by themselves, then uh, I guess that is what it is. But I think we all need to sit down and try to work out something that's gonna be good for the taxpayers. Now, the five mayors of Etowah County tell me they'll be meeting with Senator Jones tomorrow afternoon to further discuss this issue. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.